Okay, guys, so I'm just gonna start this vlog here. Um, it's a two days before surgery, one day before pre op, one day before Miami. And so I'm just driving up from um, Richmond to Northern Virginia. Um, oh, shit! Fuck, fuck, fuck a beat. I was trying to beat a case, yeah, yeah. but I ain't beat that case. Bitch, I did the race. Beat it up, we're on a shorty face. Okay, anyways, uh, we're back in better than ever. So yeah, I'm just driving to Richmond, or driving to Northern Virginia from Richmond. Um, I just kind of wanted to preface this vlog because I am not a great vlogger, I don't think. But I just want to preface this by saying, um, if you're going to hate or say any negative shit, I'm going to block you. <laughs> and that's that on that. Even if you are a mutual, if you are a good friend, a family member, I don't give a damn who the fuck you are. But now is not the time to be giving your unwanted opinions because I'm going to get what I get and I don't really give a fuck. Your opinions is not going to make me not get the surgery. Your comment is not going to make me hate getting surgery. Like, I don't really know what the, the purpose is of the negative comment. So just want to preface it by saying that. But also wanted to just spit out some FAQs and some general... Um, um, some general information about the surgery. I'm going to Enrique Hanneberg through New Life Plastic Surgery. He also has a private office, but um, going through New Life is cheaper, so I'm going through New Life. Um, I know New Life um, kind of has like not bad reviews with like the nurses or anything, but like just reviews like management wise. They I heard that it takes a there's like long wait times and blah blah blah. But that's what doesn't really bother me because I'm going there for the surgeon. The clinic's just like the little middleman, but I'm going there for the surgeon, Dr. Mika Hanneberg. I'll put some pictures up of his um, before and afters and some of his work. I really love that his results are always natural. And for me, I'm not getting any more fat in my ass. Like, I already got a booty. I'll put some pictures of my ass right now. Like, I love my ass. It's all perky. It's nice. It has nice projection, blah, blah, blah. I just don't got no hips. So I'm a little boxy bitch. I'm a little cereal box-ish. So um, in the past, I've tried to gain weight. I've tried to go to the gym to try and build the muscles around my hips. But bitch, with hips, you're either born with them or you're not. My bone structure, I have like, what's it called? Hip dips and they're like bow, bow hips. I'm not sure what the terminology is, but my hips go inward instead of outward. So that's why well, if you look at me face on, I look like a box because they go like, Bruh, instead of going like, Bruh. so, and so yeah, in the past, I've tried to gain weight, go to the gym, nothing really works for me, and it is super hard for me to gain weight, um, I had to actually gain weight for the surgery because I did not have enough fat, I was about 130 pounds, fluctuating between 130, 135, but, and for me to get the surgery, I have to gain more fat so they can take fat from me and put it in my hips, so I had to gain about 10 to 15 pounds and I could not do that naturally. I actually had to take this medicine called Aptamin, which is used for people that have anorexia. Um, it helps them eat and gain weight. So I did manage to gain about 10 to 15 pounds. Right now I fluctuate between 147 and 150. So I'm really happy about that. I wish I could gain more. Like I was, gain I was like going for 155, 160 because my BMI right now is still like a 22. And I wanted to be like a 23, 24, but honestly like, I plateaued, I'm not gonna get over 150. My body's like, fuck that mess. So it's done. So I'm just accepting the fact that I'm about 147 to 150. I'm accepting that as my like weight and that's that. Um, I hope I have enough fat to get like the results I want. I'll be asking Hannaberg all these questions tomorrow during my pre-op and my mom will actually be trying to help me vlog and stuff. She's gonna be the one coming to Miami with me. I was gonna do a recovery home, but um, I mean, I told my parents about the surgery. My mom was like, I'm not going to have you go out there by yourself type shit, which is very reasonable. Um, you know, she wants me to be safe, so she wants me to be in her care. So she's going to be my little nurse for the minute while I'm down there. And yeah, so I am 5'8". Right now, I'm at like 148. Um, my BMI is like 22. Um, let me see what other information is there. My measurements, I... Uh, my bra size is a 34C, but um, I measure like kind of around my bust and I'm about a 30, 32 around there. My hips are like a 33. Oh, my waist. My waist is a 32. My hips are about like a 33. So I'm very boxy, bitch. I am very straight up and down. But my, my butt goes out very far, which is why I do not want any more ass. Like I, my butt's already perky enough. I did volleyball. My butt's already there. I did my squats. I am good. It is lifted. It is a shelf. I literally, as I've been gaining weight, it's literally gone mainly to my butt. So fan-fucking-tastic. 
Um, so yeah, I have enough, but I literally just want the hourglass figure. That's my goal for this surgery. And yeah, so again, if you have anything negative to fucking say, I don't give a shit. You'll be blocked. Won't be able to see any more of my videos because this is my decision 100%. I've been thinking about this surgery ever since, fuck, like three years ago, I'm, I'm guessing, because um, in high school, I tried to gain weight to get hips. Didn't happen. Um, then last year, I was considering getting this surgery because I just, I, when you want the body, like when you can't get the body you want from the gym, like it just kind of fucking sucks. Oh, whoopsie. Um, God damn it. It just kind of fucking sucks that you can't get the body you want from the gym. And so people just automatically assume that if you're going to do surgery, then you're taking the easy way out. Ma'am, this has not been fucking easy. You can ask any of my friends how fucking difficult it has been for me to gain weight. And that's only the beginning step. Like, that is not even the surgery itself. Um, forcing myself to eat has been hell. <laughs> because I... I'm the type of person to have one big meal a day and be good. I have a Pop-Tart for breakfast, a good old pizza for lunch, and then kind of eat for dinner. But with the surgery, since taking Aptamin, I've had to pretty much do at least two meals a day. I don't really have a big breakfast, but um, like lunch and a dinner that's really large. And it just sucks. Like, Cause you know, like when you, you're eating and you're full, yeah, imagine being full, but having to keep on eat. Like bitch, it is not fun. So. Like anybody that says that, that taking surgery is the easy way out, ma'am, no, it is not. Like I can tell you, I can attest to that. Um, but yeah, um, is there anything else I wanted to say? Not really. Uh, kind of fucking sick of this weather. I'm hoping it's really nice in Miami because it is Mother's Day, but I'm gonna be celebrating Mother's Day kind of tomorrow. I'm gonna take my mom out to a nice lunch before surgery. <laughs> um, and yeah, oh, the cost. Um, the cost of my surgery was, um, I think Hannaburg goes $5,000, but I am not getting my massage. There's like a package deal that they have at New Life. And I am, I took off the massages at New Life because I heard bad reviews from their massages. So instead I am having a mobile lymphatic drainage massage therapist come to my hotel that me and my mom are staying at. Her name is by, or her Instagram at is by Chrissy Diaz. I've heard great reviews on her and she also brings or sells like um, fo foams and boards, which are like things you need kind of after surgery as well as garments. So I think it's just easier that way to have someone come to me rather than to have the pain of going in the car and blah, 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 all that after surgery. And it's not, don't be like, I'm all about convenience with everything in my life. So the easier it is for me, bitch, the better. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be going there um or having her come to me i guess um the cost of the massages i am getting four um four while i'm down in miami because i'm only staying in miami monday through saturday so tomorrow on monday is my pre-op tuesday is the surgery then wednesday i have my post-op with hannaburg and then i'll be staying in miami until saturday and then saturday i'm gonna be getting i'm gonna get you to get massages after your post-op which is the day after surgery so i'm gonna be starting my massages then so the day after surgery is one and then thursday friday and then i'm gonna get one saturday before my flight so that's four massages total that comes out to four, about four hundred dollars they're 85 dollars each but i'm gonna add tips so it's gonna be like four hundred dollars each for that and then i'm also gonna get him getting massages when i come back to virginia um I'm going to a center called Aika, Aika Aesthetics. I'll just leave their leave their Instagram and stuff down below. But um, yeah, they specialize in lymphatic drainage massages as well as some esthetician things. Um, and they had a deal where you get 10 massages for $800. So I'm gonna be doing that. I'm gonna be starting them on Saturday. Again, I'm gonna get a massage before and after my flight just to prevent to like reduce the risk of blood clots. So yeah, I'm gonna be getting two massages on Saturday and then they are closed on Sunday. So it's good that I'm getting two on Saturday because I'm not gonna be able to get one on Sunday. I'm probably gonna just gonna have my mom try and help me drain as much as I can. And then yeah, I'll be getting a sur um, surgery. I'll be getting a massage every day for two weeks. So that's why it's so, it's so nice that it just plans out perfectly because I'm gonna be getting four in Miami and then the 10 pans out e like exactly perfectly for two weeks after my surgery and then I'm gonna be keep on I'm gonna keep getting my massages for about um I don't see what Hannaberg says I know online it says for like up to six weeks after or like um three months maybe after surgery but it's only once a week so um I'll have to see what he says about that because I don't feel like driving my ass up here um 
once a week because bitch i just don't feel like driving and it's just gonna be annoying to drive all the time so yeah i wanted to see um what he says about that i am super excited i'm kind of nervous but more excited than nervous like i tried to make myself feel nervous or sad and i couldn't because i'm just so fucking excited for it bitch i am lit and of course there's gonna be judgment that comes along with it but i don't really give a shit because at the end of the day i know this for me and i know i've been wanting this for a brick so i'm happy <laughs> i'm happy so yeah that's some basic information before we get into this vlog um so yeah i'll see you guys at the airport tomorrow <laughs> Miami, thank fucking God. We were stuck on the plane because the gate connector shit wouldn't open, so stuck on there for about 40 minutes, so just happy to be the fuck out. I think I see a furry. Get our baggage, um, get our car, and then go to the clinic and talk to Mr. Hanneberg. <laughs> Any what? At our hotel just got back from pre-op um so got to meet hannaberg <laughs> oh my god um he's really sweet really nice i got to ask as many questions as i needed ask about i pretty much have a whole voice recording so i didn't want to have like my phone propped up you know okay um so shower is after the massage um okay um, do you think my, like, what I want is, like, achievable with, like, the amount of fat I have? Because I know I don't have a I lot. I think it's going to it's gonna curve you out. I just don't, I mean, if you're expecting something No, like no, this, I didn't, I was no. literally specific. Like, I don't want, like, no Kim K or, like, some Khloe Kardashian. Um, I have, like, some pictures. I don't know if that's, like, sure. helpful. Um, let me show. Because I'm really looking for, like, the natural look since I really don't want any more butt. Um, so I was just, like, focusing on the, the lats. Um, how common are complications? Uncommon. <laughs> I know. My dad is like freaking out about all this, so he just wants to know. I'm reading a lot, so like, how common are pulmonary embolisms? But I don't have like Rare. a history of blood clots, so. Rare. Okay. And how do I go about draining my incisions if they close with like the massages? And do you recommend using a syringe after like they close? If the if it's still early, you can use a Q-tip with some antibiotic ointment or neosporin, and literally like close your hole. You can just go like and pop it open usually not the patient either myself or a nurse some massage therapists are comfortable doing that um so that's one way if it's already so far closed it's like closed that it would hurt you or like we have to literally cut you open again then we just do syringe and draw it out okay so like you would if a masseuse needs to like use a syringe like that's okay or if you no, would not recommend they, the masseuse I, doing I, it. they can do it with a q-tip q-tip okay but not with a syringe. so once they close up they just like push the liquid and i like pee it out whatever yes okay um i know okay so i was like i brought motrin but i saw that i can't take that not until 48 hours after the surgery oh then okay you can take it. 48 hours yeah. great um and then what medicine do you know what medicine i'm gonna be giving? i'm gonna give you keflex and which is cephalexin and then you're gonna get norco for pain okay great which is like a vicodin derivative um i already asked about the f um how long do i have to wear compression socks uh, are you flying back Fly yes once you get back home okay great um when can i get tattoos or piercings recommended six weeks <laughs> um um, when can I like, I feel like going to like the beach, so like when can I get in the water or when do you- Six weeks. Six weeks, okay. Six weeks for gym too. Okay, great. Um, and when, when should I start using the scar creams for my incisions? I just don't want to make sure- As soon as they're closed. And okay. there's no scabs and it's just like- Just like skin. Fresh skin, yeah, then you can start using it. Okay. Um, and when can I start buying clothes when like my body kind of settles in a Six little weeks. bit? Six weeks. Okay. And then last one, um, when can I drink alcohol or smoke THC again? I recommend like two Wait, weeks. Seven months. to ten days. Yeah. Oh, days? Yeah. Oh, I was going to do like a whole month. I'll just do a whole month. No, you don't need to wait that long. Really? Two weeks is good. Oh, wow. I thought it was going to be so much longer. Okay, so so um, I did a voice recording, so I'll be answering all those questions, or I'll be telling you guys all the questions that I an that he answered for me in the next Q and A video. I'll also be going over that general information. I showed him some pictures. He said I'm a pretty small frame, but I have enough fat to have like 
the hips I want or the lats, the laterals I want. Um, and he's like, you don't expect no Kim K. And I'm like, I do not want that in the first place. So thank God. He says it's going to be very like natural because my figure is small, whatever the fuck. And it's going to match my butt. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really excited. So 1 p.m. tomorrow. Eh, but I'm going to be a bitch because I'm not able to eat past midnight. And I can't even like drink water in the morning. So I'm pretty much going to fucking kill myself the whole day. But it's worth it's really worth i'm really excited thank you guys like i didn't know i was gonna have so much like support and like excitement from you guys like i post some like things about it on twitter and stuff and people are really supportive and my friends are all supportive and i'm just like it makes me so happy because honestly if people weren't supportive but i honestly probably wouldn't get it done because i'd be so scared because no one wants me to get it done but i just really appreciate all the love and support and all that shit so yeah um Hopefully I can take you guys in and have my mom video record before pre-op when he or before the surgery when he marks me up and shit. Um, hopefully I can I can record that part and yeah. But today was mainly just filling out paperwork, initialing here there, telling about pretty much just initialing paperwork and then I saw him and then that was pretty much it. So and new life is I the reviews on Real Self make it seem like it's really messy and really disorganized. I only waited for like thirty minutes to be called because I had to do like I had to get my height, my weight. Um, she did my blood pressure um, and then I just signed some papers and then I saw the doctor and then I came back and had to finish signing my papers because I didn't finish before and that was pretty much it. It was about like a two hour, hour and a half, two hour thing for my pre-op so it wasn't even that bad but um, yeah, um, we're gonna see tomorrow. Ah! Um, night before surgery. <sighs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> but like, surgery day. You ready? <laughs> I wonder who gets to park up here. I think that's the employees parking. Can I just see the markings real quick? Yeah. pre-op still they just ow, put an iv in me oh i need to sit down that is blood that is blood um i need to sit down um in pre pre-op so first or not pre-op what the fuck i'm um, just before surgery um so hannaberg um marked me up <laughs> i laugh and i'm nervous so if you see me laughing a lot it's because of that um but yeah, Hannaberg um, marked me up, set, came back into this room, and then another the anesthesiolo anesthesiologist, I'm shaking right now, so if the camera's shaking, like, it's fine, it's cool, it's fine. Um, anesthesiologist came in, um, put the IV in me, um, he was really nice. Whew, you can hear the shakiness in my voice, y'all, like, whew, I'm just nervous. Like, oh my god, this, <laughs> I didn't realize how fucking crazy I look, but, um, bitch. I'm shaking. Okay, I need to put this phone down. I'm nervous, but super excited. Like, <sighs> I honestly just can't wait to eat. Bitch, it's two. It's three o'clock. A bitch hasn't eaten since midnight. That's all I'm focused on right now. But not really. I'm focused on my fucking hand shaking and this IV in my fucking arm and me better get fucking sawed in too. <sighs> I just gotta get my breathing right, y'all. So y'all, this is my first vlog like ever. So it's gonna be very jumpy, very sporadic, and bitch, I'm in surgery. So like, it's gonna be jumpy and sporadic anyways. I told my mom she's gonna have to be my my little cameraman for a little bit, but she's also gonna be focusing on my health. So if I don't have a lot of like footage, please don't, please don't, don't give me shit. Um, a bitch is, you see what the fuck I'm going through right now. But okay, um, I guess next time y'all see me, I will be. Yeah, that'll be me. Okay, y'all, I'm out of surgery. Sitting on my, oh, there's some blood. Sitting on my booty right now. Um, I'll tell you guys a little bit about it. Um, 
knocked the fuck out from the anesthesiologist. He was really sweet, made me feel really comfortable. Um, woke up, um, and <laughs> the faha was really, really tight on me, and I started crying <laughs> because it was so tight, and I just automatically took it off, and I was just crying from the pain for like 10 minutes. And I was, I woke up speaking Spanish for some reason. I was like, perdóname, perdóname, por favor. And I was like, put up and meet mama. And then they were like, soon. And I was like, they had to take my old, fa the other faja off and get me a new one because I was in so much pain. It was, it hurt. I like, I, I no puedo respirar, no puedo respirar. And I was like, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. And um, yeah, they got me into a new one. Um, and then they gave me a little a little while to kind of settle down and then they um, wheeled me out to my mom and they wheeled me downstairs to the garage. Um, then I got into the car. Ugh. If you get a BBL, make sure to bring a body pillow for the car because the car ride is so uncomfortable on that flat ass surface and my stomach is all tight and tense and like really just painful. And then my hips are really painful too, but I don't even, I haven't even looked at myself or anything. I don't want to look at myself until tomorrow when I shower because I just, bitch, I hurt. Right now, the pain was at a nine in the car, but now it's at like a 7.5. And once I get these pain meds in me, it's about to be a four point nothing, bitch, because I'm about to be knocked the fuck out, hopefully. Um, but yeah, um, what else is there? Um, gotta go back tomorrow for, um, post-op with the nurse, and then Hannaberg said to come back on Friday before my, um, not, my flight's on Saturday, but he told me to come back on Friday for, so he can see me one last time before I go. Um, nurse recommends that I walk every two hours for about 10 to 15 minutes, and, um, I'm gonna wake myself up to walk because a bitch ain't dying no time soon, <laughs> but, um, yeah. Um, right now I'm doing okay, just ready for these fucking painkillers to hit me because I really, it's, I'm just uncomfortable and kind of in pain. It's not a fun time. Um, so you guys might set up a little bit. The TV, Cheerios remote, got the chair rolled over here with some ginger ale and some water and some saltine crackers. Um, a bitch was hungry before surgery, so a bitch is hungry now. Um, but I'll see how I feel after the painkillers. Um, I didn't wake up nauseous at all. I was just thirsty as a mug. Um, and if you are going to Miami, wear a light robe. I got a fuzzy robe, and I was fucking hot. Like, I was so hot. I, like, going up, this, going up the elevator and stuff and getting out the car, I thought I was going to fucking pass out. Um, but my mom has to wash the robe because I got, I'm bleeding a lot. Um, I'll see if I stand up anytime soon, the next time I stand up to walk, I'll show you guys how bloody I am because a bitch is blood deep, bitch. Blood the fuck deep. Oof. But it hurts to like tense my stomach or clench my butt. So like driving um, on my stomach is really painful because when my, if my mom like breaks, then like I tense up and it just, oh, it hurts so bad. It hurts so bad. Um, but um, overall, I'm not doing not doing horrible, like, um, um, I don't know, I don't know what I was gonna say, um, still a tiny bit doped up from the anesthesia, but not really, but kind of, bitch, I just want these pain meds, that's all I fucking want, um, but, yeah, <laughs> oh, don't laugh, bitch, don't laugh, okay, so, yeah, that's my, that's my update so far, here's, here's what we got going on, booty sitting, I mean, but I already had a sitting booty, <laughs> But we're just gonna we'll just play it year by year. Um, got my Cheerios, got my crackers. Hopefully, I can eat some Jello tonight just to have some like some sort of like substance, kind of. Um, and hopefully, I can eat some, drink some pineapple juice too. But yeah, um, that's my update. I'm glad I fucking survived. I didn't fucking die in surgery. Um, and yeah, oh, um, laying or not laying down. Um, getting up and down is a bitch. You need to have someone help you for a minute because I can only go like this. So she, in my, up on my arms, oh, I hit myself in the face. Um, so I kind of have to like drag myself and have my mom kind of like swivel me certain ways. But um, yeah, that's my update so far. I'll catch you guys whenever.
blood so far. So, <clears throat> oh God, that hurt. Um, my abdomen is the the most painful part right now. Um, laying down isn't a problem. I have a pillow. I have a pillow. You can't even see it. I have a pillow in between my like pelvis and the bed to like elevate me a bit more, and that's really been helping. Um, and then I have. I'm just. Oh, I'm a fucking bloody mess, bitch. So um, I have to have, make sure you get lots of chuck pads if you're considering the surgery. Um, I am I am very bloody. I cannot wait for tomorrow for my post op or not post op just to go back to New Life to see the nurse so she can clear me and I have my massage at twelve or to twelve thirty around that time. Um, I just gotta make sure every two hours I'm walking. So my mom's going to wash some bloody clothes. I bloody up my robes so bad. Like the amount of blood I have been releasing is kind of phenomenal, like and ridiculous. Um but yeah, um, God, I tried fucking going pee with the go girl, the female urinal, that shit. It's good, but like, it, it got it, it's, it's a little messy, it's a little messy. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling pretty all right. Just pop my, is it Keflex? I'm taking Keflex and Narco. I don't remember which one is the, I think Narco is the antibiotic and the Keflex is the pain pill. Gotta take it every eight hours or like morning, lunch and night. Um, took that. I haven't felt it yet because a bitch is still in a little bit of pain. Um, but yeah, I'm just making sure. My mom's making me drink a bottle of water, preferably every two hours, but bitch. Um, but yeah, um, I'm drinking Smart Water. I don't like Gatorade, and that's what they recommend, but um, Smart Water has electrolytes, which Gatorade has, so it's been really getting me through. And yeah, um, the hardest part right now is kind of getting up and walking a little bit. Um, I have to have my mom help me a little bit and I have to use the wall to like put my feet up and like climb down the wall. So that's fun time, it's a fun time. But overall, I'm pretty excited. I got this, I didn't see my body, but I saw my body in the faha and I'm like, Ugh. but um, yeah, a little, another little update for y'all. Is it recording now or not? Mm -hmm. I had to do my ice bath that one time. Yep. I want to get the front view. And my baby's just learning to walk. Doesn't she look good? Come to mommy. Come to mommy. <laughs> Come on, Don't baby. Don't laugh. My abs hurt. You got it. Come on, baby. Come to mommy. Oh. Come to my. <laughs> my hands are open, sweetie. Come to me. Good, good, good. You're trying to do too much, trying to go too fast. Take it slower, Haley. You know, we ain't speed walking here. There you go, nice and slow. We're gonna go down this little side here. Should I keep turning sideways? Isn't that attractive? <clears throat> Doing really well, love. You've really only been at it a minute. I know. Am I recording this for a whole 10 minutes? No. A little bit better to you. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so bloody. Oh. <sighs> Buddy. Okay, Walking again. It's like 11.30 right now. I have to walk every two hours and y'all, I am literally, I am blood. Like, I hook up from my nap in a pool of blood and then it occasionally drips down my leg, which is a lovely time. I think I'm like, am I peeing myself? And it's like, oh no, it's the blood. 
Um, so um, I always make sure there's a disclaimer at the beginning because it's very, very graphic. Um, let me show you guys right now, one second. Put this cup down from this nice fire hydrant. Okay, so warning, it is very graphic. But I'm gonna go, I had to wrap my legs. And there it is. Just all the blood. So if you're not too keen on blood, then this ain't for you, bitch, because a bitch is blue D. Like, very bloody. But um, you guys gotta make sure I keep drinking water because I get lightheaded when I stand up. Um, at first, like when I woke up from my sleep, I was really lightheaded and I had to go to the bathroom. And so I just had to chug water because I was so lightheaded and so just bleh, like literally bleh. I thought I was gonna like yak for a little bit cause I was a bit nauseous from being lightheaded, but just drank some ginger ale and your girl is back just walking. So we all Gucci. Let me get you a good, a good look at it. Hi, say hi Haley. <laughs> There she is. It's so funny. Okay, she's gonna yes. back her way out of here. Boop, boop, boop. Can you shoot me? Boop, yep. Boop. I gotta put her shoes on, so hold on, I'm gonna stop her. Okay, there she is, she's backing out. Come on down, you're good, you're good. You're low enough, you're low. This is, this is me right here. So keep just going, yep, come on straight back. Don't touch anything. And there she is. She successfully made it. Right here. Okay. The I day after it. surgery. Day one post op. Back at. Oh yeah, check check up. I guess back at New Life. Coming back from check in. It's day one post op. Um, for checking with the nurse. Um, they just opened up my file hall to make sure everything was looking good. Put some pads in me, and then um, sent me back home. So that was it. I'm gonna see Hannah Berg on Friday before my flight on Saturday. And oh, this door is open to this room. I'm gonna go back this way. Um, yeah, walking is a bit hard right now. Everything's a bit tight, but we walk in. Let me set up in this. this is my table. My lunch. Ugh. Back in the hotel. Oof. Laying in the bed. Got Denzel on, catching up with some YouTube videos. Um, I'm feeling all right. Getting my first massage in like an hour or so. And we'll, I'll tell you how it goes. I can see if I can record a little bit. I'm gonna try, but it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be another graphic one, so we'll see. Thanks for the commentary. Thanks for letting you know. <laughs> she no longer has that fat pocket right here in her booty. Because you got rid of that. Packing the mail, it's gone. She like I smell cologne. Yeah, I just signed the deal. Booty was all her. She can do anything. Booty's all natural. Booty's all her. She can do anything for her. I'm a young CEO, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first nigga plow my body in there. One hand. One hand. One hand. So here she is. Get in the front. They're trying to drain all that fluid out of those little holes. It wasn't always Christine right. doing a great job. But she said, girl, it's your second amendment. Let's take a look at all this bruising she's got over here. See all that bruising? Yeah. And still looks big. But that's a little bit of swelling. And she kind of gets that genetically from her mother. He said, take care of your mother. But you can already see the, the definition forming already. Daddy looked at me. There she goes. That's a good look at her face and what she's been doing the whole time. We've been doing this for about 30 minutes now. Oh, my daddy said shoo. Oh, my daddy said shoo. With his right hand on his rifle. So the other side is going to drain pretty well. This side, she's trying to get a little bit more of the drain out of there. So that's why she's pressing on it and doing it on the side. Swelling's gone down quite a bit. 
booty, booty swell, swollen still. A lot of, lot of bruising, but, but she looks really good. Booty is very swollen. Still very swollen. Bitch, those massages, or that massage, it's no fucking joke. Oh my goodness, ugh. That shit hurts so bad. But then afterwards, I got the shower, and I didn't really shower, I just rinsed water over my body and got all the blood off me, and ugh, I felt so much better after, like, just getting water off me and not smelling like fucking blood. But, um... Yeah, after the after the um, massage, I just ate a little bit, then knocked. Um, I've been drinking um, this tea called Badia. Um, it's supposed to help you, um, like, for constipation. I'm not really constipated yet, um, TMI, but I've been farting, so that's good because it's, like, I'm not stopped up or anything, hopefully, and hopefully I can poop before Saturday, our flight. <sighs> okay, but, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for updates. I've been kind of booing around the hotel, walking here and there. I have to walk when my mom gets back from Chick-fil-A. She's going to grab my foam and boards right now. Yeah, she was really sweet, really nice. she been, my mom asked her how long she's been doing this. She said 10 years. So holy shit, bitch, like, whew. And the, oh God, the massage, I'm fucking having PTSD. It hurts so bad. The water, or the, the water, bitch, I wish. The blood dripping down my leg and like literally like squirting out. Like you, y'all saw, it's, it's nasty, it's nasty. But <clears throat> but now I'm like, I feel less swollen though and I can stand up a bit straighter, so that's fucking great. Um, but yeah, mama's gonna get my ab boards and foams because I start that two days after surgery, so I start that tomorrow. And that's pretty much it. Just been eating my Cheerios, eating Jello with low fat whipped cream, or yeah, no fat whipped cream, eating some pineapple watermelon, pineapple juice, and crackers and that's pretty much been my diet um maybe tonight or tomorrow i can start eating that chicken noodle soup i have but we'll see we'll see but yeah that's about it for right now sorry i haven't been able to actually like film film me showering and stuff i've been telling my mom to try and take videos of me y'all heard her commentary fucking clown um y'all heard her commentary with some of the stuff and the massages bitch i cannot with those massages like Y'all saw me, I had to, my mom was like, play some soft, soothing music. And I was like, no, I need rage music so I can scream and yell and other the neighbors won't hear. So yeah, I had my, had my daddy lessons on. I was singing that, trying to not focus on the pain. Uh, okay, I'll talk to my, all this talking is making me a bit tired. And I took my, took my um, painkiller a little bit ago. I'm also continuing to take my iron pill um, and my Hemaplex pill that I was taking before my surgery. Hannah Briggs said I was going to keep taking that just so, you know, everything's looking good. Because I've been losing a lot, a lot of blood. Um, but I haven't felt any, like, dizziness or nauseous or anything still. So, <sighs> that's great. Oh, I also ate two croissants. Eh. There was a Starbucks across the street. So, a bitch had to get her croissant on. And, yeah, it's a little update for y'all. Day one post-op. Mm, chilling by the pool. Still getting my steps in. Ugh. Ooh, feels so good. I love Miami weather. Ooh, minus that over there. Uh, it's gonna be outside. Apparently, um, our hotel gives us like a little snacky snack. So I got some it's like tomato soup and a little sp pasta salad with a little bit of broccoli. Nothing too high in sodium, you know, you know.
Day two post up. I'm currently leaning in this chair. I don't know if you guys can tell, but um, I pooped this morning at like 5 a.m., which felt great. Um, I'm just really stiff right now. Trying to walk is pretty difficult. I just want to bend over, but my mom's like sitting up straight. I have another massage in about an hour and a half. Bitch, we'll see how that shit goes. But I haven't even showed you guys how I how I pee or anything. That's one of the most difficult things. Every like three hours I wake up and I have to go pee, so I have to grab my mom. She has to help me off the bed and then help me waddle into the bathroom. Um, I tried using my female urinal, but that don't is shit. So I just squat over the toilet and pee. But it takes all the strength of me to do that. And I most likely have to have water next to me just so I can keep on drinking that. And oh, after I after I pooped this morning, I was so dehydrated. I felt like I was I was so nauseous from being dehydrated because that just released so much water from my stomach. <sighs> so yeah, that's what's been going on so far. Maybe I'll record a little bit of the massage again. And yeah. Three, yeah. She's managing the pain a little bit better now. But you can see the definition coming in. The swelling's going down. Real ass bitch, give a fuck about a nigga. Big Birkin bag, hoe, five, six figures. Drive some ass, so we got a spitty cigar. Fucking on this cam and ass, rich ass nigga. Yes, this is good. Turn, turn, Haley, because I'm getting a video, so I'm gonna get the 360, the whole thing. There you go. Keep turning, baby. This is her. She just had her second massage. Get the, we'll get the pads in the ground. Yeah. This is the part mommy wasn't too happy with. <laughs> but turn, turn one more time, Haley. There you go. Good, baby. Good. That's good. So I had my massage, and then I went to shower. Showering felt really well. I got to wash my body finally. But then after the shower, I got really dehydrated, and actually, um, I was trying to go to the bathroom again, and I was like, no, I can't. I need to lay in the bed. My mom tried to get me to the bed, and I passed out on the way there, so it's always a fun time. I really just passed out, and I just remember, like, being on the ground and she was like, come on, come on, get up, like use your legs. Managed to get me to the, to lay on the bed. And then I just had to drink some more water and stuff. I just lost a lot of blood from the massage today. It was a lot of blood. Um, but yeah, so after the shower, I slept in the bed and stuff. And um, we eventually were able to get the faha on me. Oh, after the shower, when I was um, standing up, I was at the, I put the Arnica cream, Arnica gel on me, and that felt pretty all right. But when I fell, it really hurt my side. Oh, I forgot to take my painkiller. But yeah, I have to, um, what was I saying? I got on the bed. Um, me and my mom managed to put the fah on. It's day two, post-op, so I'm now wearing my foam and boards. So, Maybe next time I put them on, I can show you guys how I do it, but today was just too messy. It was just like, it was just too chaotic. But finally laying in bed, my mom's going to get some more water and some croissants for me and some creams and stuff. So yeah, I'll catch up with you guys later. I'm going to sleep. I look good in the sunlight. Hmm? Same. Step at a time.
Mm. Oh. Okay, I'm feeling more mobile day by day, even though it's only day two. Um, I don't even know how I recorded after I passed out because I woke up from my nap afterwards and was like, was that a dream? But no. So I've been eating some salmon, some spinach, drinking lots of water, watermelon and pineapple, and I'm feeling a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> she is resting, relaxing before she goes for her post stop. Her post stop visit. She goes to see the doctor. They moved them on. Then she went, oh, look at those socks. Aren't they fabulous? Oh, there it is, but she didn't have any work done there. And there she is. Come on up and say hi, baby. And she had to see us finish down below. There it was. Let's get one more look at this little scrum body. Oh, yes, it is scrum. Just her down right there. Yes, please. Yes. 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 Stop. I just had a second massage today. Bitch, that shit hurted. But my incisions are closing up, which is good. I was able to put cream on them. And, um,. Anything else? Not really. <laughs> Bitch, what the fuck? 2 a.m. fire drills. <laughs> Beach. Tell me what the fuck. The Hampton Inn Suites. Got the fucking nerve to have some damn fire alarm. Go off at two the fuck I am. I'm gonna ask running down the fucking eighth floor. Bitch, just get to the second level and be like, oh, y'all clear to go back upstairs. Bitch, my ass was hustling down them steps. <laughs> I wish this dumbass building would try and follow my fresh ass. Bitch, I'm tired. I'm gonna flight in four hours. We're gonna be up in like five hours for a flight. Finally leaving Miami. It's five in the morning. Not feeling the best, feeling a bit queasy. But yeah, we're almost there. Almost home. No, it's that boom. And the 31. Medical clearance, getting wheelchair around. Bitch. Clutch. Yeah. Okay, y'all. So I never really finished out my vlog. It was just like kind of the airplane footage. But um, yep, that's the end of my vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed or learned something. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below. I'm open to answering anything about my journey or whatever, whatever. Um, and yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.